We've been telling you about Politico, run by Fred Ryan, leans left, but they keep denying it. This while Politico reporters and editors make frequent appearances on MSNBC. So our next guest did some research. Jeff Poor, reporter for The Daily Caller, joins me from D.C. Sir, okay, so what did you find? I know, look, Politico started out as a, um, an online newspaper that wanted to kind of shoot down the middle, but certainly has moved far left, has it not, sir? Yeah, I would, I would think since the, uh, since the Obama is taken to the White House, uh, I, I think it has something to do with maybe uh, pushing that way, especially in, in regards to getting access to the White House. You, you kind of have to have that kind of relationship. Now, Jeff, you point out um, Politico broke the story. Uh, Jonathan Martin broke, broke the story about Herman Cain's alleged sexual uh, assaults back in, uh, nine, you know, years ago, 12, 13 years ago. Right. Since then, talk to me about the number of stories that Politico has published on Herman Cain versus some other high-profile stories going on at the exact same time. Well, I know in the first five days, they had 90, 94 stories, according to Byron York of the Washington Examiner. It's a pretty high number. I think ultimately 138 and counting on Herman Cain. That, that seems, you know, you've got to ask your question, how, how, much is, how much is too much? But you look at some of these other uh, high-profile stories right now, like Fast and Furious and uh, the, uh, the Cylinder scandal. I, I think it's just, uh, you know, a, a very, very small percentage compared to, compared to that. You know, you look at those two stories, they're, they're probably uh, on the same level. Now, I to be honest with you, I look at Politico every morning. I watch some of the, uh, you know, the, the, the news programs from across uh, the river as well. Um, I, 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 I always see, I see any time there's a controversy, whether it was Michelle Bachman's headaches, whether it was Rick, Rick Perry's gaffes or he was tired during the debates, or Herman Cain's uh, alleged sexual assaults, those things seem to, to pop up on Politico. And then sure enough, you'll see it time after time, sh uh, show after show on MSNBC. Any coincidence? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, it's it's almost an institutional bias. They their sensitivities, uh, the, you know, their their news judgment lends to those kind of stories, and I I think that's very indicative of a a liberal bias, maybe not outright, but very institutional. Now it it spreads beyond MSNBC, does it not? If I'm not mistaken, uh, Jonathan Martin, they call him Mr. Betsy Fisher. Do you know why? Right, uh, very very uh, incestuous relationship between NBC News and uh, Politico. And that's that's. That's evidence right there, and I mean, you could draw your own conclusions from that. Now, Jeff, let me ask you something. Um, would you have run with a story, given what we know about Politico's uh, sources and what they've decided to talk about, who their sources are and the extent to which they, the story was sourced on Herman Cain, would you have run with that story? No, I thought it was very thinly sourced. Now, ultimately, a lot of stuff came out, and they could have ran with it, but you got to ask yourself about the timing of the story. He was set to give a big policy speech at AEI that next day, and he was given a, a, a speech to the National Press Club. Why did they sit and wait till that Sunday night, the Monday before Herman Cain's making his big splash in Washington, D.C.? Uh, that's, that's, they could have waited. They could have held off and had some of, these, uh, some of these accusers step forward and maybe had a little more to run with. All right, we're going to leave it there. Jeff Poor, reporter for uh, The Daily Caller. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Coming up, they put them out with the trash.